Okay, this is part two of fleeing uh, two balls here against the the wall there. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. He's able to pick one up, drag it, drop it down, and he's able to pick it up and throw it. They're able to bounce onto each other and show some animation. Pick it up. And then it resets itself once it goes into the, the hole there. So let me show you how I did that. So, um, so basically what happens here is when you got these animations here. Image 0, 1, 2, and 3. They animate, but at the beginning they don't animate because they're just... Um, I have it set to image index 0, image speed 0, so at the beginning of the game you don't pick them up, they're just, it's going to be static where it doesn't show any animation, and then when you pick it up and throw it, then it shows the animation happen. So you're going to um, do a var in the control tab, so you're basically holding, at this point you're kind of holding the ball in your hand, value is at zero. See the image and speed is zero so it's it's static. It's going to be in your hand. You're not going to be throwing it yet. Then you have a friction in there. Friction set to 0 0.01. So the friction is in the move tab and that's basically what's going to happen is when you throw the ball it's going to speed up and then it's going to eventually slow down and that's what's happening here. It's going to slow down at 0 0.01. You can make that more if you wanted to, which could go slower or faster. So it's gradually going to slow down. That's what's happening here with the friction. It's going to go fast, the ball, when you let go of the, the ball in your hand, and then it's going to slowly um, slow down. That's what the friction is doing here. Then you have end step here. Put a var in the control tab, variable hold value 1 equal to, so that's, I think that's what, you're, I think you're pretty much letting go of the ball at this point. And all this information here for the direction and speed, it's going, it's basically saying um, something about the ball can go anywhere, you can pick it up anywhere and drop it anywhere and It'll, it'll put it in that, that spot that you dropped it at. So I think that's what that's happening. What happening there is basically the ball can go anywhere. You can pick it up anywhere and drop it. And it's, when you drop it, it'll be in that spot where you dropped it at. That's that's what it's pretty much talking about. For the direction, point, direction, and the distance. Then, like, then when you um, let go of the ball, it's going to do index equals zero, image speed is one, so it's going to start animating. And then it's going to bounce on the walls at precisely solid. Then it's going to go any direction at seven speeds. So when you hit the hit the ball against the wall, it's going to go in any direction. That's why all these are highlighted. And you have a question mark saying expression false. Then it's going to do a var speed, speed slash 2. So it's going to go at a certain speed when you let go of the ball. And then when it slows down and stops, it's going to be at 0 for the object 0 ball, which is this blue one. So I'm sorry, basically, it, it, you're going to bounce on the. the the, the ball first so when you hit the, the the purple ball it's going to do all these arrows here you go in any direction so it's happening it's, it's and then with the the wall itself you don't you don't have it going in any direction you just have it bounce off walls so it's the same kind of code for when you hit the the other purple ball but you don't have going in any direction for the wall then left pressed 
you want to make sure it's going to basically when you pick up the ball it's going to make it not visible so you don't see the ball behind the the hand it's like he's grabbing it you don't see the ball anymore and then and then the speed and index and speed is going to be a zero so it doesn't animate the ball doesn't animate oh I'm sorry not the ball but the, the hand the hand's not going to animate and it's going to hold the ball at value of one global release it's going to re it's going to reveal the ball you'll see the ball after you release it from your hand and then like i said the hand's going to remain at zero zero so it's not going to animate variable is going to be hold value is at zero because you're not holding the ball anymore so when I say with the hand's not going to animate, I've talked about this in my other video, previous video. So see how it's animating now? So it's going to stay at image zero. When you press down on the, when you press down on the, the ball to pick it up, it's going to be at zero image zero and I believe image zero is going to be should be one it is at one see so when you click on the when you click down on the ball it's going to it's going to switch the open hand to close hand that's the one and image zero is the speed so it's not going to animate it's going to f switch to the closed hand it's not going to animate back and forth because that's not you don't want it to animate this is going to switch to the second image of the closed hand and it's not going to animate then when you release it's going to go to the first image and it's not going to animate so the first image was the open hand speed zero depth minus 50 And then when you, like I said, when you click on the the mouse, it's going to go jump to the second hand, which is the closed hand, no no speed, so it's not going to animate. Step event, so you're changing the arrow of your mouse to the hand, mouse underscore X, mouse underscore Y. You have the same thing in the create event. Then you have a coded sheet that says it's not going to animate. The hand's gonna be open, speed zero, so it's you know it's gonna stay static as open hand until you click on the mouse and it's gonna go jump to one, speed zero. And you do the same thing for the next ball, which is the purple ball, you do the same thing, same pretty much the same thing. You just do the precise when you hit the ball. Then it's gonna do the speed, it's gonna do the animation of the the ball at one speed so it's going, to go, it's going to go through the images at one speed when you let go of the ball it's going to go in all the directions when you hit the ball expression false test expression and then it's going to do half the speed then it's going to slow down and stop and not, it's not going to show any animation because the ball stopped now. Same thing when it hits the wall, but it's not going to do any direction. It's just going to bounce off the wall precisely. Expression false. You want to make, you wanna make sure you test your expression so it does th these effects here. Image speed zero, zero, because it stopped pretty much now. The ball stopped. Speed at half speed. So all this information is the same I just talked about with the, the blue ball. And then it's going to make the ball not visible when you pick it up. Then it's going to be image and index speed zero. Far, you want to hold the ball, value one. When you release it, it's going to be value zero. image speed index zero so it's not going to animate 
Then it's going to reveal the ball, show the ball when you release it out of the hand. And then if it goes outside the room, it's going to restart. Outside the room is at event, go to other, outside room. And the wall is going to be solid. And that's pretty much it. And for some reason, I've tried this, test this out on Android. It doesn't seem to work that well. I mean, you're able to pick up the ball, but when you drop the ball, it puts it in a different location. I don't know why. Um, I can test it out again, see what happens, but I think it's going to do the same thing. But it works fine for Windows. For Android, you pick up the ball, and when you release it, it puts it somewhere else in the room. Don't put it where you dropped it off at for some reason. All right, thanks for watching.